As you can see, I'm in my car and we are off and running with the school year. My kids started school um, about two weeks ago. We're going on now. And before school started, obviously, I had to do the back to school shopping and go and get their school supplies and all that good stuff and stuff for lunches because they don't, they're not really too fond of the school lunch, even though I think their school lunch is just fine. But sometimes you know how kids are. So um, I had to, you know, do the grocery shopping and the school shopping and all that stuff. Truth talk, I meant to post this long before now. So I'm going to show you all the back to school shopping that I did. Um, there were some other things in there, but you know, you know, the little things you have to put in there to fill in the gaps. But what I'm going to show you is the bulk shopping that I did to prepare for the new school year. A few different stores. Check it out. So today I went to three different stores and this what you see here is most of what I got at the stores. The purpose of the trip was back to school shopping, but I also had a grocery list, so I marked off a lot of things on my grocery list while I was out. Went to three different stores. I went to Staples, I went to Target, and I also went to this store here. This isn't a national store, but I put the bag here just so I could show you where I went. It's one of the locally owned markets in DC, in Washington, DC. Yes, organic market. Uh, really great little spot, just like a small health food type store, but they have pretty much everything in there, and I like to support them because it's a, definitely a smaller locally owned store. So I put that bag there so you could see where I got some of my things. I'm not going to specify where I got everything just because it would take me too long, but I kind of have it grouped a little bit according to where I got it. So over here in this area, these are the things I got from Yes. I have some frozen strawberries that we'll definitely use for smoothies, sweet potatoes. I'm going to peel those and dice them up and roast those for dinner one evening. And I like doing this a lot because you can do it ahead. And I'll actually link that recipe um, down below for you so you can see that recipe. Super easy and it's a great weeknight healthy side dish. I have some organic red grapes here. I always check the grapes when I'm in the store. I've heard a lot of people say that they pop one off and they eat it in the store. I don't do that, but I always do give it a little squeeze to see if they're soft because I do not like soft grapes and neither do my kids. So these were nice and firm, so we made sure we got those. also have some bacon. I got um, organic strawberry spread, just like strawberry jelly, but we like this brand. It doesn't have any sugar in it. We've been buying it for a really, really, really long time. It's really good. So we have that. My husband likes to have that with almond butter um, on his gluten-free bread. Um, the unsweetened coconut milk, my husband puts in his coffee, and I use that for curry dishes, um, some desserts, things like that. Um, also have some brown rice pasta. I got the spirals this time. I like to have different pastas on hand, um, you know, like penne and angel hair and things like that. So they just had this at the store, so I got this one. These are some mini Dr. Bronner's um, soaps. My husband's like these, but he just dropped this one, actually. It was this kind. I think it was yesterday, um, and the top broke, so I just grabbed him, too. He likes to keep him in his backpack for when he leaves the gym or when he's traveling, so he can always have one of those on hand. So I grabbed that, um, and oh, at, yes, I also got these bananas. I don't like to eat my bananas like this. I know people that do, but I get them. They always keep some extras at, at yes, um, the ones that get spotty, and then they discount them. But I like them for smoothies, so I might even let them get a few more spots on them. And they're also really good for banana bread, so I always try to grab some of those. So once they get a little spottier, I'll peel them and put them in the freezer so they'll be good smoothie bananas. I think that's everything that I got at Yes right now. Um, I'm going to go down here. At Target, my kids need um, to organize their desk drawer a little better, and I wanted to get a hold of that before school. So I thought, I'm going to go and see if I can find some organizing baskets to put in there because, I mean, just everything's everywhere inside of there. So I just happened to be walking through Target. I wasn't in a rush to get the organizing baskets, but I saw these. They were a dollar each. So I got six of them. Those were the prettiest color they had. I personally would have bought pink and purple if they would have had them on, you know, in there. But these were the only colors they had. So that's what I got. So we'll tidy up their desk drawer before school gets back underway. Um, also in Target, I got 
these oh wait no those were from staples i got these pencils from staples listen i know that there are different brands of pencils out there but this is my favorite brand and you can even get them sharpened too but i didn't see the pre-sharpened ones but these are really good pencils they're not all the same these are my favorites um, i also got some mechanical pencils i've never tried the staples brand of the mechanical pencils but they were a really good price i can't remember what they were but i nabbed those while i was there all of these composition books um, I got for my girls uh, at Staples, that these were from Staples, and these, the Mead brand, those were from Target, and they were all, I think these were 50 cents, and I, if, if I'm mistaken, these were 79 cents, so I snagged a really good deal on those. I also have some wire-bound books, and these things were all on their school supply list, so we went ahead and knocked them out. Of course, these weren't on the school supply list. My uh, middle schooler wanted these for her locker at school, so grab those i think those were just like a dollar each and she also wanted this notebook with the tabs in it um for middle school these wide ruled um packs of paper those were they, they were less than a dollar each i can't remember the exact price but there was a really good deal on those um other school supplies i have clorox wipes um those will go to the classrooms for the teachers also the tissues and i got it you can't really see it here but i got several um reams of copy paper that they'll get and also all kinds of folders that the kids needed um so we're stocked up on those crayola markers i feel like these were like one or two dollars each so i nabbed those uh wedge erasers got a few packs of those a little pencil sharpener some wet wipes these pencil pouches i had each girl pick out one of those um oops i have that one flipped over aren't those cute those were only three dollars each glue sticks crayons colored pencils pens and i think that's pretty much it for the back to school stuff that i got i do have a few more things i need to get some binders things like that but i didn't like the prices on those so i decided to wait i'm gonna wait for one or two weeks to see what the sale prices are um i think they're gonna go a little cheaper than what i just saw them for so um at target the other things i got let's see i got some sparkling water we're loving that this summer um and I also saw this one, Ginger Peach. This is, I've never tried this one before, but I thought that would be fun to give it a shot. I'm just getting used to sparkling water. I like still water. I love still water. It's what I drink 99% of the time. But we're having fun trying out the new sparkling waters. We're not soda drinkers, so um, it's fun to try something new regularly. I also got some Honest juice pouches the kids wanted those so i got those this is my favorite store-bought popcorn this is really it's so good and i got the small packs just because it's easy to grab to walk out the door but they have big bags too i get the big bags sometimes but this was all us all um of course it's much more economical to pop your own popcorn and we do that too but when i'm just kind of trying to hurry up and get stuff done and i want a healthy snack this is the brand that i like to get of popcorn i also have honey nut cheerios rice krispies those are the staple cereals that we always have and this is crispy cocoa rice the brand is mom's best we love this listen it has sugar in it i mean it's not i guess it's the lesser of the evils for sweet cereal there's nothing healthy about it but oh it's so good i highly recommend all right um, also got some milk at, um, at Target and also have unsweetened vanilla almond milk. We usually, I always am getting unsweetened vanilla rice milk also, but they didn't have any of that at any of the stores that I went to today. So I'll have to grab that tomorrow. I got to do one more run tomorrow. So I'll pick that up then. Um, just a few other little staples. I got ketchup, maple syrup or syrup, however you want to call it. Um, chocolate syrup or syrup, same thing, whatever you want to call it for chocolate milk, or you can put that over ice cream or whatever. Honey, this is great for sore throats, but I also like it in my coffee every morning and my husband as well i also have this yogurt one of my girls is loving the yogurt this is her favorite they do sell it in some smaller cups but we didn't see it at target today so i didn't get any of those this uh, is my favorite cleaner method all-purpose cleaner i love these cleaners there's no chemicals in them but they get the job done and they smell so good i've never used this pink grapefruit but i took a whiff of it in the store and it smelled so good so 
I got that one. I'm just about out of my other one. Um, I also have some taco skillet sauce. This is the one I always buy. I've tried different ones. I actually just recently tried a new one, and it just didn't touch this. This is the um, Rick Bayless, the chef, and he just nailed it with the sauce. It's so good. Um, I have an empty spray bottle here. The reason I have that is because I needed a new one for my vinegar water mixture that I use to sanitize or to like uh, cleanse things, deodorize things. Um, so I got a new one of those. So I'll use my label printer and just print out that it's a vinegar spray cleaner. I do have a video on how I make that if you want to check that out. I'll link that below too along with the um, sweet potato recipe so you can check that out but it's really easy and i always like to have it on hand to clean up without using chemicals and i also have some of these rx bars these are so good and look the ingredients are all right here egg whites almonds cashews dates no bs and this is the chocolate sea salt flavor there's four in this box and look i'm, I'm going to just show you 12 grams of protein in one bar and only 210 calories. And let's see, look at that, six grams of, of the dietary fiber. These are so good. They're not super sweet, but they're sweet enough if you don't eat a whole lot of sugar. And they're so good, and they're filling. So I'll just have one of these in my purse on a regular basis because um, I get hungry when I'm out and I don't like being hungry for long and those always hold me over until I can get something more substantial. But they really are pretty substantial. They'll do the trick. Um, and I also have some bro broccoli florets. These are pre-cut. I like to drizzle those with some olive oil, salt, and toss them in the oven. And actually, I have a recipe for that also. And I'll link that down below for you too if you want to see it. So this is my back to school slash grocery haul. I guess back to school and more. This is what I got. Once the kids went back to school and used all that good stuff up, I got back into my walking routine. I don't really exercise on the weekends when everybody's at home. We've got a lot going on um, usually. So I try to do what I can do during the time that the kids are in school. So I drop them off and I boom, immediately go for a walk. I don't even like to get back in my car after I drop them off because if I say, oh, I'll go do this or that first, my exercise will get pushed by the wayside. It will not happen. So if I get it done early in the day, then it's done. I try to get in four days a week. Mm -hmm. That's pushing it. Three days a week of exercise usually does me good. Four would be a dream. And if I exercised on the weekends, oh, I would probably definitely get it in. But I really do try to get it done just so I'm not away from the kids on the weekend. So we can get in that more relaxed family time together, even though we are really just crazy busy running around. So anyway, that was my back to school shopping for school and for dinners and lunches. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like seeing those hauls, let me know in the comments down below because I'll post more of them. I, I think I live at the grocery store. I do want to adopt the idea of only going to the grocery store once a week, but I can't. It's so does anybody else have that issue there's always one little thing and a lot of people say you know oh you'll live without it do without it <sighs> anyway maybe I'll get to that point so like I said that was my back-to-school haul and you know preschool shopping for all the above if you like it let me know and I'll post more of those things um, have you subscribed to the channel yet make sure you do subscribe um, click that little red button down there so you'll know every time I upload a new video and I'm gonna put a few other videos up for you to see as well um, I'll put them right there for you how about that all right thanks for checking in with me today I'll see you next time